On that day, everyone will be busy with their own thing. One of us is married. You have a spouse, a husband or a wife. And in this world, you see them as this is my, the person who loves me the most, the person who will do anything I ask them, the person who I will give my life to and all this stuff. You think you can rely on them, they think they can rely on you. On the day of judgment, what will your spouse be doing? Running away from you. يَوْمَ يَفِرُ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ And your brother will be running away from you. وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ And your parents will be running away from you. وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ And his wife, spouse, his husband, his child. لِكُلِّ امْرِئٍ مِّنْهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ شَأْنٌ يُغْنِيهِ On that day, everyone will be busy with their own thing. That is the truth. All these relationships we have in this world, ultimately in the Day of Judgment, they won't matter. It was an imaginary thing. It was a temporary thing. It was not the real thing. It was not the genuine thing. It was just a taste. But on the Day of Judgment, which relationship will we be accountable most for? Yes? The relationship with Allah. So the Day of Judgment, it shows what is genuine, what is real, what is true. It all comes out on that day. I'll give you an example. In this life, you see somebody who's wealthy, they have political power, they have status, they have lots of children, etc. And you think, wow, this person has a very high status in this world. But on the Day of Judgment, if that person was a disbeliever, where will they be found? In Jahannam. In this world, they place was a palace and a special throne that they had. But in the afterlife, that is the true reality of who they were. They are somebody burning in the fire of hell. In this world, the way we judge people, we judge them based on these things, money, family, status, tribe, lineage, skin complexion, etc., postcode, price of their house, how much they earn, job title. This is how we judge people. On the day of judgment, how people's reality, the true nature of this person, will be shown because they won't be judged by these things what will they be judged by? The taqwa imagine if people in this world walked around and there was a taqwa score on their head above their head let's say somebody very righteous in this audience they are like 85 out of 100 and let's say somebody else is 50 and let's say everybody in this world got a position according to the level of taqwa so the muttaqin who had the highest position the best houses the nicest cars the most influence and the people who have no taqwa are the lowest people, don't even look at them. Imagine if that was the way. But it's not like that. Because this world is, is a mirage. You know what is a mirage? Allah describes a mirage in Surah An nur Someone knows what's a mirage? Yes? It's an illusion. Yeah? It's something you think it's there, but it's not there. Like if I'm hungry right now, I might be seeing burgers in all of your faces right now. I'm so hungry, that everywhere I look, I just see chicken wings. That's my imagination. That's a mirage. But when I get there, I'm not going to find any chicken wings. I'm just going to find my brother's face. Allah describes this in the Quran. Allah describes in the Quran. You like that joke, yeah? Inshallah, a few more coming. Allah describes it in the Quran. He says, وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَعْمَالُهُمْ أعمالهم كسراب بقعة يحسبه الظمآن ماء. The disbelievers, their deeds are like a mirage. In the desert, in the heat of the desert, you're so thirsty you think there's some water over there. حتى إذا جاءه لم يجده شيئا. But when he gets there, there's no water. It was all his imagination. He doesn't find his deeds. There's nothing there. He finds Allah there and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him his due. Many things in this world we experience, it's not genuine. It's not the real thing. It's fake. It's counterfeit. All of us at some point in time in our lives, we have bought something from the market that's not genuine. There's some countries, some bazaars, some souk, some markets, some shopping centers. You go there to get fake branded items. Okay, let's say you did that. You went, let's say you wanted a particular brand of shoe. 
And I've done this before myself. You go somewhere, it looks like it, it's got the logo on it, it's got the colors, you buy it. How long does it last? Yeah, two months, three months. And then you realize why? I know it was cheaper, but why did I do it? Those fake items, they look like the real thing. They smell like the real thing. People think you got the real thing. You got Louis Vuitton shoes or some Gucci bag. But in reality, it's some second-rate item from the, from the bazaar. What's the problem with the fake thing? It wears out quickly. Yeah. It's not the real thing. It's not comfortable. Right? It's fake. Yes. When we say Allah is Al-Haq, we mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the real one. Everything else other than Allah has a little bit of fakeness in it. I'll give you an example. The love you have for your spouse or for your parent. Do you think that's genuine love? Unconditional love until the day you disobey them or you upset them. Then, I never loved you. Get out of the house. Now what happened to the love? It's gone. It's like the fake shoe that you bought. It showed its true colors. Sometimes, for example, in this life, we have an expectation. You go to buy a car, you go to buy a shoe, and you are sold this idea. When you buy this expensive car, you're going to be driving, you're going to have electric heating in your seats, you're going to be so, your life will be so happy once you buy the car. When people sell you a car, they don't just sell you the car, they sell you everything around the car. The status, the prestige, how you will feel, your mental health, your emotional well being, your press. They sell you all of that stuff as well. Once you buy the car, two weeks in, it's just a car. It takes you from A to B. Right? Expectations versus reality. When we say Allah is al-haq, we mean anything in this world, it will disappoint you. Your wife will disappoint you. Your husband will disappoint you. Your car will disappoint you. Your holiday will disappoint you. Your house will disappoint you. Everything in this world will disappoint you. It sells you an idea, when you get it, it's not what you thought it was. Except Allah. Allah never disappoints you because He is the real. There is no fakeness. There is no counterfeit. There is nothing unreal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the real deal. When we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves His slave. Did He ever for a day in your life stop your heart beating? He didn't. Your heart is still beating. We sin. We disobey. We insult. We ignore His salawat. Everything we turn away from him, he still gives you the heart to beat. This is the real love. This is genuine love because it has no conditions. It's unconditional love from Allah. 